Hello, hello, my friends. It's Tanya here back with another Dream Island tour. Today we're visiting the island of Varuna, which is home of Ethan, and it's this incredible European town inspired island with really beautiful natural pieces. So I'm really excited to um, explore and yeah, show you everything that there is in store. So if you like this video, please give this video a little thumbs up and subscribe, hit that notification bell to keep up with my videos. All right, so we've arrived on Varuna. I'm loving this sign. I don't know if that's custom for Ethan or just a really cool code, but that's really, really beautiful. And um, I'm going to go through this arch first and also I'm going to check out, uh, ooh, that's not what I wanted, the map. So wow, okay, super paved, everything is paved and uh, a lot of kind of straight lines so you can tell that this is a more urban town inspired island. Um, and. Uh, the villagers are, so we've got Ethan there, there's Audie, Marina, Stitches, Kiki, Flora, Pinky, Judy, Dom, Gail, and Raymond. It's some really cute, they're very like pink um, and colorful villagers, very adorable. And uh, the dream address is below, I'll also include it in the description if you were to want to visit. So let's head down to the airport, so we're kind of starting off there. And here we are. So first off, I think this code is super cool. The way it mimics the inclines in the game is amazing. And these edges to the path really, really helps um, set, set that in-game pathing off. I used to not really understand the purpose of these. Um, I just thought, you know, like they take up to so many slots but they look so good here and so realistic. They're really 3D. I, I think that's really impressive. I love this setup of the benches with the fences. That's really cute. And these little gardens with the trees and the hedges surrounding them. That's adorable. Let's do the bottom first, shall we? So heading off again, this little stair design, some cute beach areas here. So this is a little dining area. I love the symmetry with the hearth in the middle. That's super cute. Um, and I like how they have the waterfall just next to this water inlet. That's a really clever way of managing it if you don't want um, a river running from your inlet. So that's really smart. Right here we've got a beautiful little cafe. Um, this build is incredible. The two-story cafes is so smart. You could have someone like up there um, while someone's down here taking some photos. That's really cool. Um, oh, did I bring my... <gasps> I... Oh, I'm in a dream. That's why I don't have... A letter. I was like, did I actually forget a letter again? Anyways, this library is super adorable. I really like the use of the rattan lamp. That's really cute. And some more kind of um, uh, fake stairs or, or trompe, trompe de lay, if you will. Um, all right, along here, there's this little bell. I don't know what that's about. What was it to ring into the cafe? That's cute. And this little cafe, I love how close it is to the edge of the beaches and they lined it with the with a fence that really helps create the sense that this isn't just on a random be bit of beach, but it's really kind of deliberately placed and, and fenced off. That's really, really smart. I love that. A beautiful little uh, piano area. This is such a super classy island and I I tried to look kind of rustic classy in my little outfit. So yeah, this is beautiful. Oh, an arch to the pier. That's really cool. Beautiful little setup there. I also like this pathing on the ground. I, I believe, is it a version of the path or just kind of, it might just be two clever designs next to each other or th three maybe. Either way, it looks amazing. 
Let's finish off the beaches before we head back down. Nice little laundry area. I really like the use of, um, of the kimono by the laundry area. And um, also these, these um, beach towels because it looks like they're just hanging out to dry. Um, that's really cool. Little surf spot. some little areas here. Ethan did say the beaches weren't all done, so yeah, I just wanted to check. Alright, um, so let's head back down and then I'll wander my way up. So this is adorable. This is, this is a cute little cafe. The builds on these are amazing. So what it is, is it's simple panels, then behind it's those stalls, and then some more stalls behind on the sides and some more simple panels. And that just looks so effective, really, really cute. Um, and then this is where we were before. Oh, I said I'd go up, but all right, we'll do this side before we head to the right. Cute little um, bamboo area. It's really understated, but I really love it, and especially with those bamboo lamps. Love how all the stone works together here, and some more of these little bamboo areas. That's really, really cute. It's like so well um, planned out, like with all of this um, side edging to the path. It's really, really cool. The, that market sign works really well there as well. Over here, we've got a little plant shop that's super cute. And I like all the items they have around, like that um, that tin can, I forget what it's called, whatever it is, that plant thing that you can craft. And the watering can and the bucket that works really, really well there. Um, and up along here are some more of those cool stairs. And that brings you up to nooks, which is cute. This little area with, um, with the fountain is beautiful. I love how easy it is to run around and navigate um, because they have these big wide roads. It's really, it's really pleasing to enter. I know um, there's always a bit of a debate between those who love Cluttercore and those who don't. I personally love all and both, so I just think there's a different style and I think they're brilliant. What is this? Wow, okay, so that is a jail bar in front of a climbing wall and that makes such an effective door design. I love that, that's really, really cool really looks like um, big gates to a like a castle or something and then this is the first like real incline and just matches those those faux ones so well right we're right in the neighborhood now we're in a little villager neighborhood I love how this bit you've got looking over and some more of those fenced in um, trees really beautiful and lovely laid out neighborhood each are like they're so symmetrical but they all have their own personality here and color matched to their style i think that's a really great way of creating a villager neighborhood um, especially if you don't have too much space and you just want to give them a touch of personality um, the hedges around their plots is also really cute looks really realistic um, really, really freaking adorable. Oh, and then back here we've got a little spa. Nice cobblestone pathing. I really, I'm really into that. And the use of that um, uh, fireplace turned backwards in front of the, the waterfalls. That's really cute. I'm really into that. Um, and then, yeah, just running through this neighborhood. Wow, I love it. Okay, just checking there isn't anything down here that I missed. I Well, I would have. That's a cool little garden area. And then winding my way down. This feels like I'm going down again, but I'm not. But that's really cool. And then this is the back of that amazing cafe that we came across. 
incredible. Okay, so just checking if... No, I didn't miss anything there. Okay, good. I just have this fear of missing stuff. Um, the few times I've toured on my own, sometimes I do that. Okay, that is such a cool way. Oh, hello. <laughs> Anyways, that is such a cool way to transition areas um, when you're on a higher level. I love that. Um, so wandering my way here. So they've got their own secluded home that's really cool with a little garden down here. I love that. I think Ethan said that uh, his house wasn't ready, so I'm not going to snoop around. But let's say hi. Thank you. And um, hop my way back over. So this little museum, super classy. I think that Ethan's style is just so classy, but also quite minimalist. And I just have so much respect for that. Because um, it's, it's quite hard to make that look really effective. And he really does. That's stunning. And this double incline to the museum, so gorgeous. Another hopping area, that's such a clever little trick. Oh, and then now we're in a little more foresty area. We're transitioning to the path. Um, and we've got the campsite, super pretty, really, really lovely and rustic over here. Gorgeous. Okay, so what was down here before I wander any further? They just, he's just so good at creating all these courtyards. It really feels like um, a town that has gone through a lot of deliberate urban planning and it's made for people to enjoy themselves. Cute little picnic area here. Right on the water, I guess. No? Yeah. Um, so that's really, really great. And then was there anything here? Oh yeah, no, I was there before. Right? Yes, yes, I was. Okay, so let's cross this bridge. I think this is a beautiful bridge. And I like how the statue is just hanging out there in front of the waterfall. Down here, another beautiful path, and then we're back to that library area. Lovely. This, yeah, just the rep repeated use of these benches just helps with the overall cohesion and um, just really creates a sense of like a unified island design. Um, okay, so that's blocked off, so I wouldn't have missed anything there excellent amazing incline up there and the rest of the villager neighborhood very cool um, so again a similar style it just feels really effortless and that's often the hardest to do to be honest like I think they say that in a lot of industries just making something look effortless is just really really hard to do and um, I actually, f it feels like an area that the game was designed to look like, you know what I mean? Like, it. I feel like I'm in a, a town that the game has designed, if that makes sense. I don't know if that does. Am I where I was before, or is this symmetry? I'm, I'm back to where I was, surely. No? Oh, I might not have. That might be symmetry. Wow. That's cool. Okay, let me confirm. Let me run through this. And is there the same on the other side? Cool. 
So those two roads are identical. That's really amazing. So that takes so much planning and to make it all even, like they must have had to count out all the blocks or just made mistakes, but I don't feel like any mistakes were made. Wow, it feels perfectly even. Is this the perfectly... No, it's not perfectly symmetrical. It's almost. Wow, respect. Sorry, that was just me, like, processing. Anyways, let's check out this bottom of the beach down here. This is such a cute little cafe. I really like how they've got the bells to ring when you enter a space. Lovely area here, and then this is the kitchen behind, amazing. And then the more casual dining along here, love that. And then here, there's another beautiful double-tiered cafe. Um, I like this little painting nook as well, that's really, really cute. Um, so this is what we came across before, right? Um, so let's wander along up this one. And we're back in the kind of more natural area with the path going on. Beautiful, um, oop. Beautiful landscape behind. I love that. And that's where we were before. All right, all right. Okay, along, back along the beach, cute little dining area. It does really feel like a European town because of all the dining areas, like basically Europe is for eating. That's my opinion. Um, that's adorable. Can I get through? I don't think I can. So this is a little fish market, really, really cute. I love all of the fishy items around. It's amazing. Um, right, passing back over this bridge, back through this area, because I think there's stuff at the top that I haven't seen. Right, so here is a little lookout point. That's going to be cute. Um, feels like we're heading down, but we're actually heading down here. Um, Abel's just here and a little um, kind of thrift market or clothes selling area. Yeah, clothes selling because that's a changing room. Um, and the tailor, that's adorable. I love how it's that little offshoot from Abel's there. That's super cool. Um, did I look at all these houses? I don't know if I did. Come along here already. Oh, this is behind the house. So this is some of the construction, guys. Like, if you were curious how it's made, this is how. So clever. So they've got the solar panels as the roofing, this as the chimney. Um, the, the clock must give just extra weight to the chimney. That's very cool. Um, right, so I came up along here checked out these houses and I'm gonna head along this way through this area beautiful cemetery like having that um, valiant statue just in the center is gorgeous with this arch really stunning I've just noticed <laughs> this creepy skeleton and the that um, that fossil looking like a pile of dirt and the and the shovel that is so clever the wedding um, arch in the background is also really really beautiful love it, it got it's got this kind of gothic feeling and um, like a Victorian town amazing so up there is the campsite which we saw before and just wind your way back up here yeah, so that's how it all connects. 
incredible. I'm just so stunned at how Ethan made this symmetrical space. Like that is the level of planning and um, detail, attention to detail that I could never even imagine. Wow, 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 wow. So, so very cool. Oh, I missed this pottery spot. That's cute. Love it. All right, so now to find my way back. So that's the tour, guys. I hope you enjoyed this amazing, um, symmetrical European town. It's so gorgeous and so well laid out and planned out and made. Please do follow Ethan on social media. Um, his handle on Instagram is varuna.crossing. And um, yeah, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for future videos. Love you guys. Bye.